Hello and welcome to our Beam Tool tutorial video series. We designed this series of videos to show you how you can use Beam Tools tools to design an appropriate scan plan for any UT application. In this first video, I'm gonna show you the overall workflow in the in Beam Tool from where you start defining a piece all the way to how you design your technique and generate a report based on the scan plan. And in the next videos, we're gonna go through specific examples for making different scan plans for different UT techniques. And we'll show you in those videos how you can use different tools in Beam Tool to achieve those scan plans. So when you open the new workspace, this is what you will see on your screen. At the middle here, is where you can visualize the piece and later on when you add a probe and beeps. On the top, you have a series of options that you can go from left to right to start defining a piece, defining a weld, uh, adding a probe, set your instrument settings uh, and add information for a report. And if you use already did an inspection and have some results, you can even add uh, defects to include in your report. Also in the bottom, you will see options that are for adding geometry or some drawing tools that will help you to uh, when you want to draw a custom piece or if you want to add a reflector or indication in your workspace to interact with your beams, you can do so, which you will see the example of that. To just show you the overall view here with an example, I'm going to load one example of the uh, weld inspection with phase array. And we're gonna go on that. So here, if I go on a open a workspace, if you have workspaces saved before, you can load them. And here is an example of inspection of weld, which is a double V, which have a bunch of flaws, a crack, and lack of fusion. So when you start from the left to right, at first we have this uh, subject one. And as you will notice, as long as whenever you hover your mouse around any of the tools or any of the icons, you will have this uh, help pop out, quick help that explain to you what this is for. So when you click on subject, in general, you can have two different views. You can have calibration block or you have subject. Subject is the view we currently see on our actual piece and calibration block would be if for the scan plan that you're designing, you also design a calibration block. So for instance, if I click on calibration block, here you will notice that I have a calibration block that is designed and on the calib and then I see this icon that says block and if I click on that I have a bunch of options here in terms of how I can design a cal block I can add different calibration targets there and then I can position them based on these different uh, options and as again I mentioned before we go can go through these in detail in future videos now, after you design your cal block and you can go also back to your workspace. And as we move from the left to right, the first thing we need to do always is define a piece. There are a bunch of standard pieces that are supported, like a regular plate, T-weld, axial weld, circumferential weld, lap weld, or nozzles. And for each of these, we will have a certain number of parameters that can define that geometry specifically for the plate you can have thickness you have length and all these options are what you can put in there if you want to have a big backing material added any slope any clad these are all the options that you can add and obviously you can choose the material or if you know the velocity of a certain material that you want to add here you can choose here the next after we select the piece would be if there is a well define what type of, type of well we are dealing with and when you click on this type of wells you have a um, quite a number of different options of different standard uh, type of wells that for each of them when you click on the well it brings you to a window that uh, help you give you parameters to define the well like in this case for instance that i chose a double v it gives what are the angles of angles are what is the height of this root is and it's very flexible that these can be symmetric or asymmetric and we have an option here that we can say we can show all these dimensions and we choose to make sure the weld is 
and define as we intend to. After we define our selector well and define our dimensions, we can go back to our main menu. And the next step would be to add information with respect to our uh, instrument that we want to use. Uh, for instance, if you know beforehand what instrument you want to use, for instance, you, having the information of that can be beneficial for your scan plan preparation. Uh, specifically, if your instrument has certain limitation in terms of number of elements that you can use, number of um, probes that you can connect, this dialog here would help you to predefine that so the so beam tool would know about those um, uh, specification and give you a hint when you want to create a uh, scan plan so as if for instance you have an instrument that on the uh, phase array side it has, has only 32 element um, channels and you can only define 32 element apertures if then you want to use larger apertures beam tool can hint to you that you know what it's not matching for the instrument that you're going to use after the instrument tab the main part the next main next step would be to define a type of probe and technique we want to use either we want to go to phase array and dual phase array time of flight conventional ut or uh, basically a transverse ut or and transverse ut and with each of these options that you click which in this case for these examples i click the phase array one then it will bring you to a uh, next tab to show you what kind of parameters you need to define for that probe. For instance, when you here, I chose the phase array one, um, I need to choose my phase array probe, and there are certain parameters in there that I can set my probe. Then there is a certain parameters for the wedge. If I am using the wedge, which for this example I am, the dimensions of that wedge, how the probe is located on it, uh, located on that. And then after we choose the uh, after we choose the probe and wedge, we have options here in terms of now what type of beam sets we want to generate. And that will be something that I will cover in detail in the next video about different beam sets that can be generated for different purposes. After your, you design your beam sets and you choose them to cover your weld, which is the core part of your scan plan, then we can have a section here about adding a document info and this would be to these will be all the informations that you may want to be included in the report that you will generate later if there is an inspection has been done you can specify who did the inspection you can specify the location the project number and all the different information that you can think about that is important to be included in the report can be added in this section then next Again, when we move to the right, here is where by clicking this report, you can actually generate a report from what you prepare. All the information that you put in the document tab can all come here listed here, plus all the details about the scan plan that you designed, what probe was used, what wedge was used, what, was the, what were the uh, beam sets that were chosen, what was the information or detail of your cal block, what type of targets were in there information about your weld, the dimension of the weld, uh, dimensions all the wedge, and uh, all the details in terms of the, all the details you selected for uh, creating those beam sets. Also, if you have, uh, here you can basically toggle on and off what information you want or don't want to be included in your report, and when it's done, you can always export your uh, report to be basically to view or you can convert it you see a preview first as a PDF and convert it in the PDF for uh, later use now there are also after you do the inspection there are cases that you want to also use beam tool to report about indications you can always use these geometry tools at the bottom to actually define uh, defects for instance this one can represent a crack and this one can represent the lack of fusion and as you click on these you will have a sidebar menu that can help you to position these things or give you information in terms of what they are but to actually present them as defects we will have now a defect tab and in the defect tab 
what we can do is that we can make defects from geometry. So the geometry that we created here, we can click on them and create them as um, items in the list. And then we can specify based on our inspection that what was their height, what was their depth, uh, what was the, if it was crack or lack of fusion or any type of other indication. And when this table is populated, then obviously can be included in our uh, report. So here it can show you that after inspection, you created, you def detected two indications. One of them was crack, lack of fusion, and all information with this probability are are here and if you choose your 3d view presentation you can also uh, basically see these indications in the uh, 3d space and along the scan so that you know that in the plate for instance the example is scan where these specifically were and that give you a more generic view so this as i mentioned this video the first video was intended to just give you quick overview of what is happening in BIM tool from the beginning to the end. In the next videos, we're going to go and start looking at all different options or different piece parameters, different welds, different uh, inspection techniques and different beam sets and show you how to use different features in different example. Thank you.